setting the window on the TI Inspire graphing calculator. The screen shown is a standard window of a graph page on a TI Inspire calculator. In this lesson, we'll learn how to change the window settings on the calculator. There are many ways to change the window settings, and some of the methods are in using the zoom options, but we'll leave the zoom options for another lesson. Here's where we might be when we turn the calculator on, and the calculator icon is highlighted in the lower left of the screen. We click once to the right so that the graph icon is highlighted. From here we can press enter. We get this, a graph page. We next want to enter our inequality here at the function entry line below. What we would like to do is enter a less than symbol, press the delete key which erases the equal sign and gives us a menu of signs to choose from. We'll go down one click to get to the less than sign. Press enter. We now have y is less than here at the bottom. Now we enter 50 over 3 minus 1 third x. Press enter to graph. And what do we see? A shaded view screen. So we don't see the y-intercept or the x-intercept. So we have to change our window to see what we need to see. To change the window settings in the most traditional manner, we press the menu key. We can click down to option 4, window slash zoom. Press enter. We see window settings plus all the zoom options. I plan to put together another lesson to cover some of the zoom features at a later time. But now back to the window settings. Press enter again. We see the current standard window settings. We press the tab key to advance to the different setting fields. We tab down once to X max and change it to 60. We'll tab down a few more and change the Y max to 20. We tab down a couple times more to get to the OK option. Press enter. And this is what we see, the dashed boundary line with the area shaded below, the inequality in place with the X and Y intercepts visible, just what we wanted. Now we'll go back to where we were after we got our first graph of the inequality before changing the window settings to look at doing it a different way. From here we'll use the touchpad to make this cursor arrow at the center go up to where the 6.67 is at the top of the view screen. And when it's over the 6.67, which is the standard YMAX setting, it says text right next to it with the little hand. Double click the enter key. 6.67 is now highlighted. Enter 20 to set the Y maximum value to 20. Press enter. We now see the Y intercept. Then to move to set another window setting, press the tab key. Now this dimension is highlighted at the far right, the maximum value of X. Enter 60. Press enter. We see both the X and Y intercepts as we did before using the window settings method. If we need to set the other setting values, Y min and X min, we keep on pressing the tab key to go to them as well. We've learned two ways to custom set windows using the settings menu and using the tab key to move between window settings on the graph page. This has been setting the window on the TI Inspire graphing calculator. Thanks for viewing.